Hey, everybody. Hello, and how are you? Happy Wednesday evening. It's time for Paint Talk on my favorite How to Paint show. If you recall, this was the piece we've been working on for the last two times we've been together. Um, I've been messing with it and painting a little bit tonight. Um, hi, Jank to Swank. Hello. I'm so thrilled you're here. We're on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. So uh, as you pop on, let me know. Say hello. Maybe a thumbs up. I wouldn't even get hurt with my feelings if you actually shared the video um, throughout a bunch of hearts. Just let me know you're there and that you're hanging out with me. Um, that would be amazing. So hi there. Hello, I see you. Hi, my Michelle. Thanks for popping on here with me, you guys. There's no mat. Um, it's that Wednesday night thing, and so it's baseball. And I have a I have an interesting story to tell you all what happened last Wednesday as soon as I got off of the live with you all. Um, but this is a piece I'm working on. We decided to call it Summer's End. And as you can see, it's a triple dresser. And I started to go ahead and put the background for our tree line on here. This is me finger painting. I did a few little videos that I promise I'll post on social media. Um, hi from Central Alabama, Rebecca. It's nice to, to see you on here tonight. Um, and I also started in with some prairie gray and some sandy blonde and kind of carrying it over into our water. And I just kind of went ahead and did an outline. It's very messy looking, but I needed to have a little bit of like an outline, okay, going on. So, um, hi, Mikkel. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Rachel. Um, Irma Rosales, how are you doing? I was going to tell you guys last time, as soon as I got off the live video from last Wednesday, you know, I told you guys Holden had baseball practice. Uh, it's kind of like a scrimmage. It's an intramural scrimmage, and it's for a tournament team, so it's not high school or anything like that. But I turn around, and I look at my kid, and he's got blood all over his face and his shirt, and he got smacked in the face at bat. So he missed two days of school, no broken nose, just broken cartilage and all the things that happen with all of that. Um, but within 10 minutes of being off the live with you guys, I was in a total, total panic. Um, of course, Matt had already taken him, but he wasn't, he didn't take him to the emergency room, but there was a nurse there. One of the moms did like a, a concussion test. So being my son, he comes and starts making jokes, trying to make me laugh because he knows I'm kind of sensitive to that kind of stuff. And I totally overreacted, totally panicked. Are you guys one of those moms or are you calm when your when your kids get hurt? You guys let me know cuz I um seeing his face and his teeth were okay, but of course that was the first thing Matt checked um because he was at bat and he literally, I mean, he's high school baseball. He didn't he didn't move. I don't know why he didn't move. Nobody asked. Um but in his face. Um so he missed Thursday and Friday in school because his nose wouldn't stop bleeding. It was kind of dribbling. And of course, uh, you can't have that happen in class. So uh, anyway, he's back to baseball today. And uh, I'm kind of looking forward to them getting home tonight because I was a little concerned that he'd be a little baseball shy, you know, when the ball was coming at him. Um, so I'm working on the tree line here right now, guys, and I'm just kind of layering different colors. I still want it to be very soft and antiqued, but what, I end, what I'm going to end up doing Sorry, guys, that was mom. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is sanding it and then distressing it. So it's very subtle. It's not going to be like this intense tree blob on the front of this. So that's my plan. How's everybody else doing? A um, couple of things that have been going on as well, or I'm getting ready to open. This is Monet's garden, by the way. I'm putting Monet's garden over Bohemian Blue. And I want this impressionist style, so I'm just going to use my fingers. It's kind of a personal challenge that I like to do. And if you followed me long enough, well, you know I finger paint from time to time. And with this great big triple dresser, why not? But um, some of the other things are going on. The podcast launched. We've got episode two launching tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock a.m. with Michelle Sells of my at by Love Sells. She's a beautiful creative and friend, and I can't wait for you guys to listen to the podcast. You can listen to that on Spotify, Apple, Stitcher, 
and several other apps that are already on your phone, maybe. I don't know. I'm learning. <laughs> um, this is looking great. Thanks, Marlene. Thank you. I'm not really sure which direction it's kind of going, but I, I know I need it soft. I'm going to end up using a white wax on this also. So it's going to be more subtle, but we're putting in a tree line and we're adding in the beach. So I have prairie gray with some sandy blonde. And then down here, I haven't really decided what color I'm going to do on the bottom. I don't know if I'm going to pull my sand all the way down. I'm not really sure. Hi, Tabitha Clark. I miss your face. I miss you. I miss you. So, but as you can see, the other, I don't know if you can see, the other side takes the pink and the red all the way down to the other end. And I had posted a bunch of pictures of it. I wrapped it around the sides. Um, but I'm just right now layering some colors. So this is Monet's garden and just kind of getting a tree line. I'll, I'll add in some more definition. I think I'm even going to add in some of our cherry picked. If you're not familiar with, it's like this deep purpley red. And I think we should do that now. <laughs> and I also have some Hay Sailor, which is our navy. And then I have a lighter green called Aviary. And I'm just going to kind of mess with that and kind of have shrubs and, and trees. And then I'll have a few little trunks going on. And then I can really work on the sand and carry it all the way like out into the water. What do you think? Yeah, Tequila Sunrise. I love that, Rebecca. That's a great one. That is a great one. All right, so let me actually put just a little bit of Hey Sailor up here. And then I'll start in more on my, do my second layer of sand. Also, the Creative Connection, which is my membership group where I teach tips, coach, create, all of the things that I possibly could do. It's our third year. Actually, we're, we've started our fourth year of membership. So there's quite a library built up for trainings. And um, I'm very active within that as well as like, for example, today I hired um, a portrait artist to come in and teach us about painting faces, which I know nothing about. So that was kind of fun. Um, You can tell I'm concentrating because <laughs> I get quiet and I'm like, oh, wait, wait, you know, it's like you got to stand back. You got to look at it. I really want to pull this out just a little bit more. So let's see if we can get a little bit more color going this way. Is it, is it, are you seeing my vision? You guys, I hope. I love this orangey sky. I'm going to make sure I don't don't settle, you know, soften that too much when I add the white wax. Um, I do love the, love the sky. I'm sure that when I told you about the baseball hitting Holden's face, many of you mom and the dads were like, Ooh, we remember I took you back probably at, Oh, thank you. Thank you, Val. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to start in with my sand. I need that to kind of set back up before we add any more to it. I'm going to spray a little bit here because I can see my fingerprints and I don't actually like that look. Those of you that might think, why isn't she just using a brush? Guys, I just find it very um, therapeutic and also kind of a challenge for myself to just use my fingers occasionally. I don't do this very often because of course um, it would be easier with a brush. It would be easier. Um, that's like a famous line in the proposal. It would be easier, says Ryan Reynolds to Sandra Bullock. Oh, you can tell I just watched that movie this week. Um, so the Creative Connection opens on the first and will be open for two days only. The reason being, I don't want the group to stay open all the time. I want it to be contained. I don't want it to get too large. Um, and we've been at the 500 member mark, gone a little bit up, gone a little down. We've been at that for over a year. So it's pretty manageable. Uh, we have a great group of ladies. So the best, of, and, and gentlemen as well, and the best part of that, you don't just learn from me. 
There's some amazingly talented artists. There's beginners. There are people who've actually painted for 20 years within the group. Um, we have special retreats that are exclusive to the people in the group. Uh, we have opportunities for you to go live within a group on Facebook and it'd be totally private within the group. We have training on all social media platforms. Well, like I said, we do, um, we do Q and A's every week, ask anything. It's just a very safe group. I'm sure that I have some ladies and gentlemen on here right now that are within the group and I see quite a few of them right now. The, also, the ones in the Creative Connection have the first opportunity to do my one-on-one -on -one mentoring. And I kind of try to give them as many. Do you see it? You see it. Rebecca says she sees it. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> when you have three years of information building up, there's probably always a topic in there that will help you. We talk about Etsy. We talk about shipping. Um, we just, boy, I don't know. We go through everything. We have a heart talk once a month where we talk about the emotional side of being a creative and trying to run a business and or not run a business, but being a creative um, and how that affects our family, how, you know, our desires and, and judgment and um, imposter syndrome. That's another one. <laughs> I know that there are many coaching groups out there, you guys, and I recommend if you are um, craving connection, you might not even realize you're craving it, but I would find one that suits you. And um, you, whether you're one that just kind of sits back and witnesses or and absorbs and, you know, is a sponge that's fine too. There's a role for that in every group too, but I would definitely find a creative group that can help with things such as finding a booth. Should I get a booth? Should I retail a paint brand? Should I do this? Should I do this? Um, we also have people in the group who don't even paint furniture. Like I said, I have on my podcast, I have a, um, she is an artist, but she's also a master of puppets. She calls herself the world's only one thumbed puppet maker. And she's on the podcast and she's in the journal magazine. And uh, guys, we're down to 23 days, 23 days till the journal launches. And I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna cry. And I cry every time I start thinking about some of the stories that have been included in there. Um, it's just mind blowing to me. It is, and the creativity, the tutorials, I'm going to cry, but put October 12th down because when we're gone here, I'm going to have a special live that night. We're going to pop some champagne and we're going to celebrate the cover issue, uh, the cover reveal. And um, honestly, guys, I'm just trying to stay positive and try to bring beautiful things that hopefully you find beautiful out into the world. And it kind of has... All summer, it's just, I've been kind of like a fire underneath me, just burn, burn, burn. And I hope the fire doesn't go out. I don't mind if it simmers for a little while, but um, I'm having a really good time. And I feel like this is, a, this is just where I'm supposed to be um, doing these types of things and highlighting other artists and connecting people. And um, there's so much division that I just, I want to be, I want to help connect. I want to help bridge it tighter, you know, and uh, I feel like the magazine and the podcast and just the, what I'm doing now and just keep, keep doing, don't, you know, it's just what I'm trying to do. So anyway, that's kind of hard to explain, but you know, when you're in, you know, you, where you, when you're somewhere that you're supposed to be and it feels right, I'm there. So this is Prairie Gray and Sandy Blonde, you guys, that I'm, I'm overlapping And so we're going to let the tree, the trees are not anywhere near done, but we got to let them set up a little bit. If it gets too wet, you get end up with too much, too much clumpiness. And I'm not looking for clumpy. But I do have to decide what color I'm going to pull down here. And I feel like this needs to, something needs to happen here. 
So I think I will actually get some of my tarnished pearl, which is my lighter. Um, hi, everybody. Your fire has warmed my engine. Yes. Yes, girl, nothing like it. And we're blessed that you're where you are. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. I was just mentioning that I hired you to come in the group today and teach in the Creative Connection and teach us some some uh, portrait art. And uh, she was actually working on the beautiful face of Miss Nissa and that, Miss Anissa Perry, and was showing us how she does how she does that and outline. Anyway, it was really really great. But like I was saying, sometimes I the tutorials aren't just for me; they're also from other people that I like bringing in. All right, I need a little bit lighter color here around the water's edge. So this is Tarnished Pearl. If you guys need links to anything or want to make sure you're on the waiting list, you just go to the turquoiseiris.com and you go under my creative connection and you just join the wait list and I'll send you an email that says we're open but you still have to click the link and you still have to register. Just because you get on the waiting list doesn't mean you're in the group. You have still have to go and register. The waiting list is just to remind you that we're open and then we'll send you the link and then there's it's a private Facebook group where we run the, the tutorials and everything. Okay, does that look right? It's so hard. Is it chalk paint? Uh, it is a chalk and clay, all natural, no VOC paint with no fumes. Kind of smells like dirt, but that's as good as it gets. So very organic product. And that's why I'm using my hands. If this had acrylic in it, I probably would not be using my hands. Um, but this is a clay based paint, so I feel completely comfortable. And it's kind of like I'm one of those gardeners that doesn't wear gloves because I'd rather feel the dirt on my hands. That's how I am when I plant. So I'm catching a plane tomorrow to go to Georgia to Eminem Mercantile in Canton, Georgia. If you guys are anywhere near, or even if you're not, come to Georgia and see us. We'll be there from on Friday from 11 to 2 Eastern time. We will be going live. It will be in Monica's shop. Anybody's welcome and everybody's welcome. Um, then we have our VIP night. And then um, Saturday is our workshop at the shop. So um, anyway, I don't wear gloves to garden either, says Betty. You're still packing. Janet, I have not started. I'm going to go do that after this. I literally just laid my brushes out tonight over here. So I'm like, oh, don't forget your brushes. I like to use my own. All right, I'm going to bring... I think I just like the, <clears throat> excuse me guys, I think I just like the, the wider color over here. I was thinking about bringing it over here, but I think that's a no-go. <clears throat> I think that's a no, not the right thing to do, sister. When I'm done with this, this night, I will pan back so you can see the whole dresser, all right? Okay, so. The trees need so much work. Um, I need to, to work on this down, this color down here. <clears throat> I'm guessing I'll go ahead and pull some water. I, I just, I'll just pull some water down, okay? Mermaid tell it is. Hi to Janet, hello. Me either, says Monica. I missed what Monica was referring to, but um, I know that Miss Monica's pumped. She probably won't sleep much tonight. <laughs> I'm actually thrilled because I don't have an early flight. I get to sleep my norm or my normal time of getting up at seven and take my time getting ready. And I could even go walk with mom if I wanted. I think I'll not, but I, I could, but I think. I think I'll skip walking tomorrow and just get ready and take my time. And... All right, so I'm going to just carry that blue. I'm not sure this is the way I'm going to do it, but I'm still going to, I got to at least get it on here and dry. It's just paint. If I don't like it, once it's dry, you know what we do? Paint over it. Haha, <laughs> I'm exhausted. I think I will sleep. 
<laughs> yeah, when you're having a whole bunch of people at your store, you kind of work yourself, huh? Are you doing FNL from Georgia? Yeah, Robert, I'm probably going to go live. Um, our VIP event will end right at the time. It will be over at 830 Central. So I will probably go live and um, let Miss Monica maybe do a tour of her store if she's up to it. And let the ladies at FNL say hello, or, or excuse me, at the VIP tonight say hello. So, yep, tune in. Tune in Friday night at 8.30 Central Time. All right, so I'm just putting this mermaid tail over. This is a really awkward position. I never sit on this side of the, the dresser. I'm always over here, but I didn't want to block any of it. So, um, Miss Michelle's coming. Of course, Debbie will, and Kenise will be there. So many of you guys are on here right now. Miss Janet, if you haven't met Miss Janet, she said she's coming. And um, Kara's coming. Raise your hand if you're on here right now and you're coming to Georgia this weekend. Even if you're not coming to the class, but you're just stopping by for uh, to see everybody. All right. So I really have to just kind of walk away from that because I need it to dry and start building up more color. I kind of want my cherry picked, which is my deep plum. I'm gonna do that real quick before we go. is a little awkward doing this from this angle but are you guys seeing my vision it's a triple dresser so it's going to take me a little while that's why i went ahead and got started on the trees tonight i had a few few had like an hour to paint tonight so get started on it. All right. I think I'm going to pause. You see it and love it. You can see it. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate you so much. I'm going to go ahead and blast it with some water, get it blending, get it dripping. Get some of that with water, too. Okay. So... It's coming together, but we do. Um, I don't know if I'll be on Sunday, guys. I don't remember what time my flight comes in. I may be too exhausted. So don't hold it against me if you don't see me on um, Sunday night for Paint Talks. It just depends. I think my flight comes in at like 8, which, gosh, you know, last time it came in at like midnight instead. So that was a very long, drawn-out flight. Um, but anyway, I hope that you have a good end of, into your week. And if you're watching this on the replay, I would love if you would go ahead and just pass this video around. Um, it means the world to me. And uh, this piece would be available. But I also, I hope that when you see me, especially finger paint, that you're inspired to just play too. Thank you for all the hearts on the gram. I see you on the gram, girl. Um, thank you. And I just hope that, um, that you're inspired to paint or to create or... Uh, to do whatever it is you do that sets your heart on fire. Is the sand going to go over to the far left side? This side, Derek? Yes, it is. It is. I just don't have the room or the energy to get up and turn it. Um, that side over there is actually done. This side, I will pull the trees and the sand down on here, but I don't have the pink and the blue. It's, I don't have all that over here yet. So in the top, if those of you asking about the top, I will just pull this color up and put good coats of sealer on it and just have the orangey and pink coral color on the top. We'll blend about three different colors. So like I said, if you, um, if you, um, I posted pictures of it, Robert. It's on my, my social media. I posted several pictures and did a video, and it's in my stories. So I have done that yesterday or today. I can't remember. 
So for now, I'm going to go pour the water out of this and put it in the suitcase because I go everywhere with my water girl. She's the, she's the best team player. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate you hanging out with me tonight. And Matt said to tell you that he misses you. <laughs> All right. Good night. See you guys, everybody. Or see all of you guys later. S Friday night, 8.30 Central Time for FNL from Canton, Georgia. Join me.